annoying orange. Man, I think I can remember him all the time, voiced by Danebo, the creator of the series right there. And actually, Annoying Orange actually hardened my comments so far. All of them. Oh my gosh. This was so notorious. And actually in 2020, when I did about those gum, gummy, gummy worms and bears, I, I meant it was a decade ago, not a few decades. But Annoying Orange actually pinned my comment in 2020, which is the first time I've ever saw him doing that. And I was like, what? <laughs> This was amazing. I, I can already tell you, Orange, that you, my bro, I actually watch your shorts, your episodes, but I'm really glad that you're almost up to 12 million subscribers. But if you do, this is for you, my bro. But, if you, yeah, you don't like swearing, but I am not going to swear in this video. It is just for Annoying Orange or, or all of you, my bros or brunettes, who actually enjoyed my reaction videos to... Uh, .exe lost episodes and probably the indie horror games But these three videos I've definitely found one comes from the suggestion of Sparta name Elias Thank you so much for your suggestion, and it's made by Sam Andrew Thillis. Oh, huh, how can I even okay? Yeah, this is actually the remake. Hey Apple. This is a remake of 2019 This is the creator say there's two videos that I definitely found of on my history on YouTube But we're gonna check this one out right after this one anyway Let's go! Hey, Apple. Apple. Hey. hey Apple. This was a fairly normal hey. first ever Apple. episode I've ever hey, saw Apple. since 2009. Hey, Apple. Apple. Hey. Hey, Apple. What? What? What is it? Orange, you glad I didn't say Apple again? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That joke yeah. was funny the first 400 times you said it. Hey, Apple. What? Oh, Orange! What the heck? Oh god, this face is actually giving me nightmares! No! Oh, come on! It's giving me a nightmare fuel! Please stop this, Orange! Oh gosh! <laughs> Man, imagine his best friend Paris saw this! Imagine his best friend Paris saw this face! On October, he'll freak the freak out too. <laughs> Imagine, yeah, Paris's voice is actually compared to Dane's. <laughs> that is creepy. Oh my god, I have never ever seen this first episode being this horrifying for a long time. Imagine that in October. <laughs> Holy shnikes. Can you hear the screaming? Oh my god, I can hear it. I can hear the screaming in the background. Maybe it's probably just because of Orange trying to actually eat Apple up. Oh, oh my god, you're still there. Jump scare? I. It's gonna be a jump scare pretty soon. Oh wait, it must be the firefighter. Ah! Oh! 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 too terrifying now oh my god all right the first two videos i definitely found right here this one comes from Psy sticks Psy sticks okay are you kidding me with over 31.7k subscribers i can tell you the analog horror of annoying orange isn't that nice well anyway let's -a go if you grew up in the early 2010s watching YouTube, then you may remember the infamous channel, The Annoying Orange. Uploading their first video over 13 years ago, the character quickly grew in popularity. 
gaining the reputation as a family-friendly comedy channel. However, what if I told you that the Annoying Orange was also hiding a darker side? A side oh that my! Oh! Oh! Okay! Okay! That That's nice! People are familiar with. In this video, I'll be showing you the unsettling media, along with telling you the story surrounding the analog horror of the Annoying Orange. You don't say, my bro! Okay! Okay! For a little context, in 2009, Annoying Orange videos were just starting to grow in popularity. So during this earlier time, it was fairly common to stumble into knockoff channels trying to cash in on the character's success. However, one of the channels uploading videos at this time would create content dramatically different than anything around. The account, named I Hate Annoying Orange, would instead upload several videos in a VHS format, filming themselves torturing fruits. For example, in one of the channel's first videos, we watch a skit where the Annoying Orange begs for his life while the man filming peels his skin off. Later, the channel would make another upload, where this time we'd watch a video of an orange being stomped on while the Annoying Orange Gundam Style parody plays in the background. Today, oh, but many of these videos style. have been deleted, and while they were pretty creepy on their own, the strangest part about them was that each one included a link in their description to a website called IHateAnnoyingOrange.com. Upon visiting the website, you'd be greeted with a short bio written by the author, Steven, and a forum where anyone could post their hatred of the Annoying Orange. For example, in the blog category of the website, one user took a picture of the orange section in a grocery store and captioned it, lost my temper at the grocery store and had to be escorted out by employees. In another post, user xxorangehater29xx shared a picture of the annoying orange melting in lava, along with the caption, you won't believe how happy this made me. It's just Many like marshmallow murder! Innocent, albeit slightly creepy. However, where the website actually began to get disturbing was when you visited the photography section. On this part of the website, Stephen would document his annoying orange fantasies by taking autopsy-like photos of different mutilated fruits. In one photo, Stephen is shown slicing an orange in front of two clementines, writing the caption, I'll make your children watch. In another photo, Stephen ah! shows a blowtorch to marshmallow, along with the message, not even a fruit written in blood next to it. What's even stranger is that when you visit this part of the website, tiny little screams would play as a sound effect, almost like Steven was documenting the torture of real-life victims. However, after scrolling through the entirety of the I Hate Annoying Orange website, the most unsettling piece of media I found, ironically enough, wasn't even created by Steven. In 2012, in the blog section, user so-and-so uploaded a post mentioning the mobile app Annoying Talking Orange, along with the caption, I think this app might be a virus. I forgot to feed my orange and now all of my contact information is missing. Hearing this got me curious, and so I did some research on the app, and what I found was pretty startling. For those of you unaware, the Annoying Talking Orange app was a game designed around 2012 in which you were responsible for taking care of a talking orange, either by feeding it or playing minigames together. However, if you weren't able to take care of your orange, things would take a dark turn. Opening the app after more than a week of inactivity would prompt you with the message, your talking orange is dead. Oh, after this, oh, you have to no! Doing things like asking for This you app contact is phone, not for everyone else to do! If you hit accept, it's just like, remember, .exe! talking orange would begin to infect your device. This could lead to things like your contacts getting deleted, or even your saved photos being taken by the app. It got to the point where one user who had the annoying talking orange app installed got their GPS infected, resulting in them receiving the wrong directions. Unfortunately for this user, this would happen while they were driving late at night, leading to them missing an important oh my God! the side of a mountain. However, in my opinion, the creepiest thing Annoying Talking Orange could do was ask permission to use your location. If you hit accept, the app would go dark with nothing but the message, Annoying Talking Orange is on its way. Ah! Ah! Today, both the Annoying Talking Orange app and the I Hate Annoying Orange YouTube channel appear to be deleted. However, despite this, the website still seems to be available, so I'll be putting it in the description for those of you curious enough to visit it. Anyway, if you'd like to see a behind the scenes of this video or support the channel, I now have a join option for $4.99 a month. This will give you access to these extra videos, and you'll also get a credit at the end like this. So with all that being said, now you know the analog horror of the Annoying Orange. Oh. Thank you all for watching. Okay, so this is what's going on. Okay. Now, this is not for Annoying Orange. If he ever saw this, he'll actually be freaked out. Oh my god. Gosh, this is horrific. Anyway, that being said, moving on to the last one right here. Hey, Apple, but it's all corrupted right now, if you think. Yeah? Okay. Hey, Apple. Apple. Hey. Hey, Apple. Hey. Apple. Hey, Apple. Hey, Apple. Apple. Hey. 
Hey, Apple. What? What? What is it? Orange, you glad I didn't say Apple again? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that joke yeah. was funny the first 400 times you said it. Hey, Apple. What? You look fruity. <laughs> yeah, that, that was hilarious. Hey, hey, Apple. What? Can you do 10 push-ups in 10 seconds? What kind of question is that? I don't even have arms. How am I going to do one push-up? Hey. What? Hey, Apple. What? Can you do this? Oh God! I've been doing that since 2009 or 2011. Good old times, right there, my bros. For crying out loud, would you stop yammering for longer than three seconds? I can't even hear myself think. Silent. Oh, whoa! What's going on with this screen? Did you see that? Hey, Apple. What? Ah! 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 Oh! Oh wait, this is the same thing. Same thing. Oh wow. Same thing. You don't say? No. Yeah, this is probably the same thing. You know that that is basically a remake right there where everything just goes corrupted. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, it just it's just the same thing. But that's the original right before that remake from Sam Andrew Thillis, whatever it was. Let me check. Yeah, I was right. Sam Andrew Thillis did a remake on that. But yeah, anyway, that was specifically terrifying. Wow. I, I cannot believe these videos were actually horrifying. Oh my God. Imagine that being on Shocktober with that face. I would be so worried right now. Holy crap. Anyway, thank you all for watching now. If I did swear, it, it was all my fault. But if I did it, thank goodness. Anyway, if you all enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up. Stay 20% cooler. Be ready for the real action. Make sure you subscribe to Annoying Orange to help him get to 12 million subscribers. Or if he did already, I'll just ping him just in case. That'll get you to his channel. As always, I'll see you guys then. Goodbye, everyone.